Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today a video is going to be in two parts. Uh, so first part is going to be a review. Yes, honey. So the first part is going to be a review and the second part is actual look. Um, so I will post, uh, well, this video is going to be a short one because it's just a quick review and I'm going to show you guys the swatches and uh, let you know if it's worth the price or not. Um, so you guys have uh, probably noticed um, Sephora and uh, Colourpop has co made a collaboration and you can buy Colourpop cosmetics at Sephora now as well. So this is a, the palette. They, they came out with a couple of few different things. Colourpop with Sephora. There's two eyeshadow palettes, two I think lip gloss and lipstick set which has three lipstick or three lip gloss in a set and there's some uh, um, shock eyeshadow and it's more kind of like a gift set so anyway this is the palette i have right now in front of me and it's a golden state of mind and it has uh, uh, 15 eyeshadows and the cost of this palette is 30 dollars so 15 eyeshadows here you go you see them here is the colors sorry 15 eyeshadows for 30 dollar is not a bad price um the palette itself is actually quite nice it's okay it's quite holiday she type of a palette it's got like a rose gold uh, writing on top with a peachy effect on the palette however when you hold it it does feel a very like not very steady or quite cheap palette because it doesn't even have a mirror so you can't travel with this palette only with this palette thinking i'll do my makeup which is there are no um matte shades in this palette it's all shimmered all of them so if you want to do a quiet look you might need to carry your transition shade separately as i've used uh, a different one i use one of my makeup peak um eyeshadows for my transition for this look okay so I, I'm not really 100% sure how to explain this because I'm having a love and hate relationship with this palette. The colors I am loving. The colors are beautiful, really, really nice. But the actual product is really bad. I, I, I don't expect that from Colourpop at all. I have got Colourpop other eyeshadows, the shock eyeshadows in single uh, uh, eyeshadow uh, cube. And they are really, really good. So easy to work with. As I was saying, I quite have like, I'm not a person sure about this. I don't know if I will ever go back to this palette and use it again. I'm, I'm not a hundred person sure about this right now because the difficulties I have today to create this look was too much. You cannot do your foundation first and then do the eye look because the um, eyeshadow goes everywhere. It is so much fallout in these eyeshadows. It's unbelievable. I had to go back and fix it right at the end of my makeup again because uh, the first the, sh the first shade on my eyes is actually keep coming off for some reason and that's the shade and uh, from the palette called pay the piper and i have no idea what's going on with this color because there is a lot of inconsistency in this palette i'm not 100 percent sure if even it's been created by color pop right now because it's just it's not their one of their top qualities so I'm going to do the swatches for you, so you can see. I'm going to do the first row first, So, and I'll tell you the name as I'm doing it. So the first color I'm doing is Golden Egg. So this is the shade, as you can see. I don't know if you can see it properly or not. Uh, this is the shade. And uh, this particular shade has a huge problem because it doesn't matter how much product you put it on your finger it just or your brush there is huge fallout and the product goes extremely chalky on your eyes it's not a smooth buttery finish at all second one is pay the piper as you can see on my finger the shade looks already pretty chalky and when i put it on my hand you can see the pigment is hardly any pigment there whatsoever i'm not really sure why it's like this or is it i i just received a dodgy palette or something i don't know and uh, the next shade is girlfriend this is the shade i have in my inner corner right now 
and I have to say this shade came up so many times I had to keep going back with my pencil brush and keep adding more and more and more and more product because at the end the product went into my eyes and it started irritating my contact lenses and it's just starting hurting my eyes and everything was became really watery it, it was just a disaster um, the reason I'm, I'm going to still going to show you this guys how to create this look because this palette was not easy to work with and I really want you to think before you spend your money on this because it's I, I personally think it's not worth the money. Um, the next next shade is Zero Clue. So as you can see, it's kind of like a peachy orangey undertone kind of shade. The next one is Watch Out. I'm running out of pen. So this is Watch Out. See, so this is the first row, and uh, all the shades pretty much every single shade I swatched has a huge problem of chalkiness, and the product is so much falling out, it's unbelievable. So, I'm just going to wipe this off and I'm going to show you the next row, and it's supposed to be like it's not the color pop typical quality it's actually very shimmery it's, it's and it's not in a nice way if you know what i mean because the shimmer goes pretty much everywhere shade is drizzle and it's kind of like a, a rose goldy shade uh, the second one is uptight i have to really really press it hard to get any sort of pigment on my hand it's just something is not right with this palette I think I will just receive a dodgy palette. Uh, this one is Can't Stop. Next one is Sparkler. And the last one is Unsupervised. So I put a lot of Unsupervised on my finger and there's hardly any color payoff as you can see. So I am not sure, I hope you guys can see it's, the camera is picking up because it's just, I, I, I'm actually, I was actually thinking about giving this palette as a Christmas gift to one of my friends and there's no way I'm going to do that now because it's just not right. Just look at the state of my palette and it's only like light. Uh, I'm just taking the swatches out and the product is going everywhere in the palette. It's just everywhere. And now the last five shades are, so the first one is Lust in Time. It's quite like um, coppery shade. The next one is Mind Tricks. There you go. Next one is Wink Woman. Next one is Heads of Tails. Okay. And the last one is Tinker Time. So that's the Tinker Time. All right. So these five shades are probably the only best five shades in the palette and they are the darkest ones so this is the last row they are not chalky they're quite buttery as well and the color payoff is amazing um, i have wing women just on the outer v of my eye so that was pretty easy to work with when i started the look i got so super excited thinking oh my god this is going to be amazing but as I turned to the row one and two, it was a total disaster, total, total disaster. So the first two rows are really, there is something hugely wrong with these two rows. There's something extremely bad is going on. The only last five shades are probably the one I probably will ever use it again. But otherwise, this palette is seriously not worth it not worth it especially when you can buy better at your own choice of colors from Colourpop's website um, as a single uh, eyeshadow instead of just having this um, 
if you want to add it to your collection go ahead but i personally will not buy this if i have a choice i will return it actually it's just absolutely heartbreaking to see color drop is coming out with something like this at the end i just want to say to you once again it's 30 dollar 15 shades and it's the collaboration with Sephora and Colourpop. I know you can buy Colourpop from Sephora right now but I think until Colourpop put actually really good products on Sephora's website, think before you buy um, the, especially this brand's uh, products from Sephora because this is a really really good brand, really affordable brand but this particular product is heartbreaking and it's very very disappointing to see something like this um hope you guys find this review helpful and uh, if you have any questions leave them in a the comment section below and uh, please subscribe to my channel for more reviews and makeup looks and uh, more chit chats and whatever you guys want to talk about <laughs> um, as usual i will write down all the social media descriptions in the description box below sorry about the background noise it's just my dog is getting a little bit too hyper um, and uh, i shall see you in my next video oh p.s if you want to see how to create this look which i used this color creating it just click on the video in the description box below or it would be my next video showing you how to create this look Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the makeup look and I shall see you guys in my next video. Have a good day guys. Bye.